In this video, I'm going to go over the Humane Society of Sedona.org forms. So we're going to log in. And go to forms. These are all the forms that are currently active or available on the website. These two forms for summer camp and spring camp, the forms are active, but the posts are not. So, so no one can access the forms right now. So just letting you know that. Um, but so to go into a form to edit it, just go to the form and click edit. And so this being the, the gala sponsor form, let's say next year, you might need to change the the levels of the sponsors or you may need to change the amounts and if you wanted to do that all you need to do is click the down arrow in this little section and then you can change any of the text in here that you need to change you can change the prices over here you can subtract like if you if I were to click this it would delete the Chihuahua sponsor if I click the plus, it's going to create another category. So there'll be a, a blank field that would show up underneath this that if, if you wanted to add another level of donor. Um, important, if, if required is checked, leave it checked. If you don't do that, then it will not be a required field that people, um, that you want people to fill out. So you want to keep, keep those fields required. Um, unless for some reason you decide you don't want them required. Um, and that's essentially how to change a form. I'm not going to go over too much in how to um, create a form. I can do that at another point if you, if you need me to. But for now, I do want to show you the confirmation section. And right now, what's coming up uh, for this form is a default it's just called default confirmation but it's coming up with this message thank you for sponsoring the Humane Society of Sedona 2018 Pet Lovers Gala so um, if you wanted to change that text we could definitely change it in here uh, otherwise other settings to know about the notifications, this is uh, who is receiving the email. And this is the email submission from the form. And so I just called this notification Austin Gates HHS director. Um, but the people getting the form submissions are Austin Gates and uh, also um, uh, M. Johnson, Mar Margie. Yes, Margie. Anyway, um, so that's just to show you um, where those submissions are set up. This is the authorized.net integration. I'm not going to go into that because that's not necessarily something that you'd ever need to change. Um, but if you did, I could help you do that. Um, okay, so then we're going to go back here. And let's see if there's any of these that look a little different. I'll go to one of these summer camp forms. Again, any of these sections that need to be edited, just click on that little down arrow. It will open up that section and you could change any of this text if you ever needed it changed. Um, so that's true of any, any one of these sections. When you roll over them, you'll see that they each have a down arrow to choose, uh, to, to click on so that you can edit. And I believe that is all that I need to show you there. So um, again, I'm not going to go over too much about building. I'm actually not going to go over building a form at all right now. Um, this is just basically how to get into the forms and edit them. And then um, if there's anything different that needs to happen with the form at any point, just let me know. 
I'd be happy to do that. And if you want a specific tutorial on how to create forms at some point, I can do that too. Um, but for now, I think that's enough information. Uh, I'm going to pause for a second and just take a look at something else, and I'll be right back. Okay, so just one more thing that I did think of that I did want to show you is I just wanted to show you how the forms um, get onto a page. And so this is the, the Gala Sponsor Form page. And this code right here is what's making the, um, the form appear on this page. So if we go, um, so this is the, the form ID is 9. So if we go here to Forms, you see the Gala Sponsor Form, the ID is 9. And so that's just um, so that you can have an idea of um, how those forms are activated on pages. I believe that's all I need to show you about forms right now. Please ask questions if I didn't cover anything that you want to know right now. Thanks.